Star and welcome to Ninja Gaiden. I'm actually doing something a little bit different today. I wanted to have fun. First, let's just check out the cool. I'm gonna go through the whole cutscene. I think Ninja Guide is one of the games that like really doesn't need any type of introduction. It's fun, it's fast, it's action, it's hard. Um, it's one of my favorite games as a kid. And why am I? I'm like, why is it okay. All right, but uh, I never beat it as a as a child. Um, and after learning how difficult it really is, I'm actually not surprised. But I was able to make it to the last boss. The or, I don't know, it's not so um, was never able to be the second form, or second, second fight, but, uh, I want to do something a little bit different today, because I have been doing, like, a smorgasbord of Salt and Sanctuary and Subnautica, and there's a few other games that I want to go back and re-record, um, June 2016 is definitely going to be one of them, especially now that they've announced, um, Doom Eternal, so I definitely want to go back and redo Doom 2016, but as a commentary track. So other than that, I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. I have spent the majority of the day cleaning and doing weird fun oh, oh, cleaning. So that's the extent of that. Um, I'm not going to be playing through the game. This is not a let's play. This is a let's see how far Grandma Star can get in 20 minutes. I mean, I'm no speedrunner. I've actually watched the uh, a few uh, AG AGDQs of them speedrunning this, and actually, it was a uh, tri triathlon, I guess you call it. It was uh, two teams with three members, and each player uh, played through one episode of Ninja Gaiden. So, like, the first member of the team would play through Ninja Gaiden one, and the second one two, and etc. etc. And it was really cool and fun to watch, and I realized like just some of the calculations and measurements and the memorization in particular, which I have no short term Okay, that's not fair. I have no memory whatsoever. And they were remembering like which lanterns to hit, uh, how to make it that you went through the entire level with the spin slash, which is a one shot on bosses. And I'm like, no, there's no way I'd be able to do that. But it was super fun to watch. I love watching AGDQ and Summer Games done quick, which I don't ever really know when they're on or when they're actually doing it. I usually just end up watching like highlights or even um, a majority of the programs themselves on YouTube. And if you haven't seen AGD, AGDQ, Awesome Games Done Quick, it is literally a charity stream that they bring in the, some of the, okay, I forgot about you, uh, they bring in some of the best speedrunners for games, are you kidding? Okay. And, uh, literally they, they play the games for charity, and there's, a. Uh, there's incentives for, like, if they make a certain amount of money, then, like, the person might have to do a blindfold and they might have to name the character something specific or whatever along those lines. But it's an awesome, uh, awesome cause, and if you haven't seen AGDQ or if you haven't been able to, uh, find out anything about them, I definitely recommend looking it up. It, I believe it's... Oh, great. This is so... Controller doesn't promote this. No, I actually went down that time. There we go. Oh, gosh, I can't believe it that. And before anyone goes calling me out, yes, I'm playing on an emulator. But I own the game legally in real life, so this is perfectly legal. I 
have the cartridge for it. Oh, wait. We can do that. Nope. There's a way to get the bat to show up. To get the jump. Skip. I don't know how they did that, but anyway. So, uh... But yeah, um... Like, one of the ones that I saw, it was for, uh... Doctors Without Borders. I believe that there was one for, like, the for, like, a teacher's association. I swear to God. And, uh... It's really amazing to see a lot of the games that I hold dear and beloved that these people... I'm not too much a fan of the glitched ones, just because I feel like that, in some ways, that's bull. That was bull. In some ways, like, it, it's not enjoying the game for what it could be. But, I mean, they are beating the game, technically, on based on whatever criteria they are, but it's just... I'm a person who enjoys the game for the game itself, like... I don't play a lot of, uh... Wow. Yay. Yay for me. It's been a long time since I played this, and... Really weird to be playing it with a analog controller. Or analog joystick controller, rather. Xbox 360, uh, controller just... It is not a Nintendo controller, that is for sure. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna start using the joystick. They seem to be getting better response. Nope, because they're backwards. Alright, I don't even know how to fix that. I'm not even gonna bother. Back to the D-pad. But, uh... Now I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, so like... It, it... Like, the glitchless, the glitchless runs I enjoy because they're playing the game and there's different um, categories like any uh, any percent or 100 percent or you know whatever the criteria is that they have for these runs are for that particular game. And apparently it's a speed running. Uh, it's full. I saw that one coming. Apparently it's a speed running community that actually, from what I can tell, is the ones that make these categories because they find specific ways to be able to beat the game. Whatever. But uh, you know, playing the game and like with glitches. I've been on this level for five minutes. Oh, stage two. And, uh... And anyway, so, like, when you, when you turn on the game and, and you, like, can instantly input, not a code, but, like, something that makes the game glitch beyond the way it was programmed to function, it... It's cool if, like, if it didn't, like, make you beat the game, but... Once you uh, are able to go through the game, man, I was better at this as a kid than I am now. Oh, for crying out loud. Yes, folks, this is Granistar. I am good at games. Oh, that's game over. There we go. Right, let's try it again. It's weird because I remember playing this as a kid, and as I played it as a kid, I was able to get through the first four stages without any deaths, and I think that, that was just from, uh, muscle memory. And this game has a lot of that, like, if you can remember exactly how fast to run, where to stop, where to attack, you can make it through this game relatively easy. Well, at least for the first several stages, and then, and then they just, and then they just stop caring about you as a person. I will definitely say that the, uh, Xbox 360 that does not respond, or maybe, I don't know, does not respond as well as the Nintendo D-pad. There we go. Knocking me up as high as I needed to go there, dude. What's he swinging? Like a boomerang on a rope? Is that a blade? That's... So anyway, I made a little bit of steam back on that. Oh, this is my favorite music of the game. Oh 
yeah, I forgot. We're not watching the cutscenes. You know, if you look at that, I always thought that Walter Smith's head was on a striped pole. I didn't realize that that was his shoulder. So it always freaked me out as a child because I always thought it was like a weird, like, like a, a sandworm from uh, Beetlejuice. I remember I used to just uh, play this level just so I could listen to music, and then I found out through a, uh, a uh, issue of Game Informer, or not Game Informer, Nintendo Power, that there was a secret sound test at the beginning of the game that lets you listen to well, music, and I remember that there would be many times where I would play it, or I would put the game in, and I wouldn't play it, I would just do the sound test. I don't know why a bird does like a quarter of my health damage, but whatever. I don't know why there's a flying falcon there that only has a head. And I kill it and I get stuff. That's RPG 101. Kill the animals and get things that they shouldn't have. Like, why is a wolf carrying plate mail? Oh, come on. See, like, half of them clip off the screen, and then, like, just randomly one dozen. Oh, Why do I keep turning around when I die? They never really infuriated me as a child, I, but now as an adult, I'm like, what the hell? Why a bazooka, like, and how is he using a single shot bazooka like that? With multiple, you know, like a semi-automatic. I see, still remember some of that fun stuff. So this guy... No. Wait, what is it? I thought it was every third one. Shoot. Okay. Okay, now I'm just lucky. Yep, no. Not exactly the best ninja technique that he has, like jump across the room back and forth. minutes left to do. Oh, God. I don't think level one, uh, I don't think four one is really where the difficulty amps up, even though by my hit ratio right now, um, one could argue that. But, uh, I don't believe it's actually until the, uh, stage five that the game just becomes infuriatingly unfair. Why is it a bat- Ooh, I don't get it. What? Why is it a falcon can hit me once, or, and do half my health, but I can take two bazookas to the face and only lose, like, four? Apparently I don't have a, uh, a falcon resistance armor set. Yeah. 
definitely one of the coolest scenes ever. Okay, no more. Alright. So we got four minutes to try to beat stage four, too. I remember when I first saw the uh, AVGN or Angry Video Gamer uh, play this game, I was like, oh my god, he's doing one of my favorite games ever. And then I, it might have actually been him because I was older when I saw AVGN, and even though I never beat it as a kid, I never really got infuriated by it. But then I was watching him play it, and I was looking at all the stuff that he was going through, and I was like, oh my god, I remember that. Yeah, that is annoying. I'm glad I didn't grow up to be, uh... Sometimes you can just despawn the enemies, and it just works easier. There we go. Alright. Did that in... I don't know how long we did that. I don't think I can beat 4, 3, in 3 minutes. I'm amazed that I'm actually remembering as much of the game as I am. You son of a... I mean, yeah, I'm not doing great right now, but the fact that I haven't played this game in more than 20 years, and I still remember aspects of it, like, that's, I like that. That makes me happy. It's okay, I'm gonna die anyway. Oh, man, that only took a minute. Music always made me a little suspenseful as a kid. That guy in gray does my Ryu technique whenever I play a Street Fighter game. Oh, oh, wow. I didn't think I was actually going to land back on that platform. Nice. We got two minutes left still. Man, I get totally like confused by that thing. It was like fall the cup or you know, fall the ball the cup. I have never died on this boss. If I die now, I'm gonna be Man, that's game. And it is exactly 20 minutes after I started push the record button. Well, you know? Stage 5? Haven't played the game in about 20 years? You know what? I will consider that a win. I mean, except for those, like, three game overs I got on level on stage 2, but... Anyway, everyone, thanks for letting me do something fun today. It was kind of nice to be able to just go back and reminisce about the games that I used to play as a kid, and, uh... Wow. Yeah, 20 years. It's been crazy. It's weird how you still remember some of that muscle memory. But, uh, I am going to go relax now. So, everybody, if you enjoyed everything that you've been watching here on my channel, by all means, feel free to like and subscribe. I know that sounds really cliche, but you know what? It really does let me know that people are actually interested in the content that I'm putting out. And even though it's nothing more than me just rambling while we play a couple video games, you know what? It makes me happy. I'm, I'm no professional comedian. I, 
I, I don't even really have a topic to talk about. I don't think my ADHD would let me like stay on the topic like that. But anyway, um, if you have any suggestions for games or any type of content that you would like to see, by all means, feel free to leave me a comment or shoot me a message, and I would be more than happy to take it into consideration. If you send me a game on Steam, then hey, I will play it and I will give props to you, kind of like Game Grumps does, or did. But other than that, everybody, once again, thanks very much for watching, and my name is Granisar. Happy hunting out there.